Welcome to episode 3 of our Explain the Basics series. This week's episode is titled Everything POE. Pretty self explanatory, so let's jump straight in with POE. POE stands for Power over Ethernet, it is a solution where power and data can be run to your IP device over one single cable. No extra AC mains power is required. This both reduces the amount of cable you will need, whilst also simplifying the installation process. POE switch A POE switch is a network switch that has POE injection built in. Simply connect multiple network devices to the switch as normal, and the switch will detect which devices are POE compatible and give them the power they need. Be aware that POE switches come in a variety of sizes and all have a power budget, which is the amount of power it can produce across all of its ports. So be aware of the power consumption of your device before purchasing the correct switch. POE Injector An injector allows the user to bring POE into an existing non-POE network. In simplest terms, what the injector does is bring together separate power and data inputs to create a single POE output. You would really only use an injector when installing a small number of IP cameras. If you're installing more than two cameras, we would advise just using the previously mentioned POE switch. POE Splitter Splitters are more niche devices that basically do the opposite of an injector in that they take POE and split it back into its separate data and power cables. This is only really necessary if you have an existing POE system and are planning to install any non-POE network devices, such as wireless cameras and VoIP phones. POE Plus POE Plus is a higher standard of POE designed for use with higher power devices such as PTZs and cameras with extra electrical features such as heaters, fans or LED floodlights. The maximum power standard POE can handle is 15.4 watts, while POE Plus can handle up to 25.5 watts. Video Encoder An encoder does what it says on the tin, it encodes analog video signals so that they can be viewed on an IP network. It is important to point out that encoders are expensive and unless you already have a very large analog system installed you would probably be better off just replacing your system. Video Decoder A decoder is a very rarely used device as it does the reverse of an encoder and decodes IP network into analog video signal. This is only really necessary if you have an older system that is using analog monitors or DVRs. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so by clicking here. Check the description below for links to our Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus feeds. For the link here for our web shop, and if you want more videos like this, click the playlist up here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.